In this video, I'm going to show you five different ways to tie two ropes together. The first one is going to be the blood knot. This one works really well for monofilament lines, but also works with standard rope and line as well. Starting with the working ends overlapping each other and going opposite ways. You'll begin to take the first working end and looping itself around itself and the other line. It helps to keep the loops tight and you'll do three to five loops. When you're done doing the loops, you'll tuck the working end between the two lines. The next step is to mirror the other side, doing the exact same thing, only going the opposite direction. And you'll finish by tucking the working end in the same fashion between the two lines. When you're done, the working ends are going to face opposite directions. The next knot is the triple fisherman's knot. This is great for absorbing shock, and it uses the coils to absorb a lot of the energy. You could say it's more cushion for the pushing. And it's a reason why a lot of climbers use this knot to create loops. You'll start in very much the same way as a blood knot, with the working ends overlapping and pointing in opposite directions. You'll do three wraps around itself and the other line, but instead of tucking the working end between the two lines, you're going to weave it inside of the coil. The same thing is done on the other side, going the opposite direction. When you pull it tight and finish it off, the two coils are going to fit nicely into each other. The Flemish bend or the figure eight bend is a solid knot that can hold a lot of weight. To start the figure eight, you'll begin with a bite and you'll twist it twice. Once the bite is twisted, you'll reach through the eye and pull the working end through it to create the figure eight. The working end of the second line follows the line of the figure eight, starting from the working end. The finishing knot should be neat without any crossing lines. You can do an overhand knot around the standing end to finish the ends if you'd like. This helps secure everything and it's also referred to as a safety knot. The sheet bend is a good knot to tie quickly and it's really easy to untie. It can also be used with two lines of varying diameters. You'll start with a bite into the thicker line and with the working end of the second line We'll bring it through the eye of the bite. You'll take the working end of the second line, wrap itself around, and tuck it underneath itself. To make this more secure, pass the line through itself a second time to turn it into a double sheet bend. This knot is good for two ropes of varying diameters, but if the difference of the diameters is super drastic, then the next bet is the next knot, which is the racking bend. The racking bend is the knot that I turn to if the diameters are super different, such as a heaving line for pulling a much heavier diameter rope. 
The heavier rope can be either on a bite or on a loop knot, such as the figure eight loop shown here. Bring the working end of the smaller diameter rope through the eye and make a series of figure eight weaves. And for this, you'll want three to five laps. To finish off this knot, you'll tuck the working end under the last wrap to keep it secured. Be sure to check out my other videos on wilderness survival, knots, and other cool stuff. If you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe. But as always, take care out there. Bye.